Clouds. Locked. What's going on Spartans? King here and I am here today to show you what it's like being at 35 to 3600 league. Now a lot of people have been asking me questions. How many times do you search? How long does it take to find a raid? How many trophies do you see? How many can you lose? And how much loot are you seeing up there? All that good stuff. And they're also asking why do you only attack bases with 8 trophies or like 5 trophies showing. Now let me show you why. I'm going to start off and I'm going to let you guys, for you who want to be here just to see the raid, congratulations, I'm going to show it right away. I'm going to show you the end of the video right in the beginning. But if you want to see what it's really like to be a champ, watch the entire video. I'm going to play some music. I'm going to talk a little bit more. And you're going to learn and get to see what it's like to be at 35, 3600 trophies. And this only gets worse the higher you go up. And this is the price you pay to be one of the top players or even a high level player, not even a top player. But as you can see, I'm working my way into the base here. My guys are jumping in. And the king's going to go for that town hall and just absolutely wreck it in a second here. Give him a sec to take care of the archer tower. And I'm going to drop that. Oh, there we go. Bingo. Drop the town hall right there. Pekka's going ham. 35% with the one star so far. Can we get two stars? Looks like we're going to be able to do it here. We have the king alive. There's not many archers or anything targeting him. So he's pretty good. Going to rage him there a little prematurely. I could have waited a little longer. And I'd highly suggest doing that from if you're a player like me. Waiting as long as possible is a good thing. Now, this golem's going to take out this archer tower, hopefully, and I'm going to drop all my archers on the outside of the base to clean up as much percentage as possible. And as that golem exploded, he took out about 80% of the health of that archer tower, which is awesome news. And now the golemites are just chilling there, going for that wizard, distracting him. Unfortunately, he has died, and now it's just my level 30 queen and a few archers chilling with 59% of the base. I could drop my lightning, but I'm not going to. Invis the queen, bad timing, she got hit by a mortar, and all the archers died. But she's going to die here at 63%. Pretty solid because we're going to get about 5 trophies, I believe. And a little bit of loot, nothing special, guys. But 126,000 gold and 65,000 elixir, plus we also got 5 trophies, as you saw. Now, the reason, guys, and here, we're flashing back right here. Stop, we flashed back. Now, this is before I got that raid. This is what happened when I decided to start attacking right now. I went on, and I'm just showing you right now. I was at 3950, I'm at 3595 at the beginning of this video, and I was at 36 something last night, 3629, I think it was. Yeah, 3629 is what I was at last night, and that's pretty awesome. That's my new peak. I'll get back up there, guys, but this is why it takes so long to push. And I'm going to show you how many trophies you see and why I don't attack for loot and why I just take eight trophies and act like that's a really big deal. Because, guys, the honest truth is, at this level, eight trophies really is pretty much a big deal. There is nothing you can do about it, but look at how long I'm in the clouds here. I haven't even found a base yet. The first base that pops up, 100% maxed out, level 40 heroes for four trophies. I I'm good, thanks. I'm not going to risk that base. I'm completely maxed out. Probably got witches in clan castle for four trophies and a possible, like, 39 lost. Look at this, 39 lost, one trophy to win. 39 lost, one trophy to win. And again, 38 loss. Oh, that's a special one. Guys, this is how brutal it is up here. Now, the reason it's been so hard to get to 3600 is that I have been not sleeping a lot. And honestly, you make one little mistake. You get 49%. You don't get the star. You lose 39 trophies. Now, look how hard it is to find these trophies, guys. A lot of the time, I get between 1 and 7 trophies. And 7 trophies is like 1 every 25 attacks I do. I get 1 trophy to 2 trophies probably... Five out of the ten times I attack, and then I get like two to three trophies three times, and then one or two times when I'm really searching, I'll get like five to seven trophies if I get really lucky. And that's for like a two star, guys. This isn't for a one star. Now, and these are you're showing these. These are even for three stars. You only get one trophy. Look how many times I'm clicking, just clicking like crazy. Now, the reason I'm clicking so fast, guys, is all I do when I'm searching at this level is I actually just look at that number up there, and as soon as I see a, the clouds start to clear, I see a one. All I do is glance toward the center of the base, and if I see the town hall there, I click next instantly. So it's super fast. It's the way you find out. Because obviously if there's a town hall outside the base, it's either going to be dead center or it's going to be outside the base. That's the only two options that people do at this level. So if it's not in the center, it's most likely a town hall snipe. In which case, I'll drop my queen, invisor, take the town hall snipe, get the 120,000 loot bonus, and then also take the win, obviously, and get the one trophy. But otherwise, I'm not going to attack the base for one trophy. There's no point. And uh, obviously, there's no point in ever trying to get more than 50% or a town hall snipe because you're not going to get more trophies by getting two stars. You just get the one. 
Now, this is how brutal it is. Look how many times I search. This is ridiculous. I I get why it happens. It's because there's not that many players at my level. And there's just so few players up here. And most of them have shields or are online. That you don't find people at your level. So you're finding all these people in Masters 1, Masters 2, 5% better. Oh, shoot. Got to get the charger real quick here. And uh, I'm going to flip the screen and put the charger in. And keep surging. But... You can see just not finding anything whatsoever. Sorry, guys. It flipped because I was actually putting the charger in the iPad so it didn't die. I've obviously been playing way too much. Uh, but it's just kind of crazy to think that you you look this much and you guys would probably look at this and be like, well, you just saw a million loot one of those times. Well, guess what? You saw a million loot. But is that million loot worth having to build 30 armies and doing 30 attacks, which is like an hour atta an attack with boosted like barracks? It's not if you lose, because you might be able to take a million ten times, but that eleventh time, what if you make a mistake and you lose? Then you lose 39 trophies, that means that you have to do, even if you're winning three trophies or five, let's say, you're, let's say you actually get a really good one, let's say you lost 40, right? And you get five trophies each time, okay? That's going to be a lot of attacks, man. It's going to be eight attacks that you have to do perfectly where you get two stars and get five trophies each. And I don't even, you can't even find that. Like, it's not even possible. It's unrealistic to find, guys. But, I mean, that's eight attacks you got to do perfectly and make up for that, what, that million loot you got? Come on, you're going to get a million loot and eight attacks anyway just from the loot bonus. You might as well look for a base that has decent trophies and forget about the bonus, forget about the loot, because at this level, if you need loot and you want to get just that one trophy, switch over to Go Barch or Barch or Golems. I don't care what you use. Use a force that's cheap. Use your goblins, use your archers, use your barbarians, and get the loot, and take the loss that way. You're better off doing it. If you really want to do that, go ahead and do it. But there's no point in doing it with a go wee wee just to be like, or go wipe and be like, oh yeah, I'm using a really expensive force, but I see a million loot, I should take it. Unless you're guaranteed to get the win, you do not go for it. And that's just the, the, the entire rule of the game up here, guys. Now, I know it's kind of a boring episode, but a lot of people were asking, how many searches does it take? And guys, this one happened pretty fast, but you can see here, I mean, I am just searching and searching and searching and searching, and I'm not even finding anything. Like, you haven't even seen that many two-trophy wins, and that's for a three-star. So you can imagine that if I don't switch... I like to switch languages, guys. I don't know if you guys ever do this. I switch servers. Like, sometimes I switch, like, I'll be in English, can't find anything. Switch Norse, can't find anything. Switch back to English, and all of a sudden I find one. Or I go to Japanese or Korea, and I just keep switching around hoping that a new server might pop up a high level player and uh, get me really lucky because I I can't find trophies. And you know what? Some people say, that doesn't work. It doesn't work. Well, guess what? Searching like this drives me nuts and I feel like if I don't do something to change it, I'm going to lose my mind. So I do back out and do something. Even if it doesn't help, in my mind, it makes me feel like it helps. So that's the reason I switch. But look at that. Two trophies. That was an epic one. Two trophies. Nice. No loot. Like, guys, this isn't even showing much loot. Look at this. 2,000 gold. Are you kidding me? Like, these guys are... All I'm seeing is Masters 1s up here. Like, honestly, if you do come across a big fish, like one of the guys that's completely maxed out, you're most likely going to see 400,000 of each or 500,000 of each. And you know what? That's awesome. But you better have the right army to attack his base. And that happens like once every 2,000 clicks that you find a big whale. Maybe 3,000, 4,000 clicks even. But you can see I've already done 100. I'd say over 100 clicks here. Um, I can actually tell you in a second here. I'll pause it and I'll look back at how much gold I spent searching because it doesn't cost 1,000 gold to search each time. And that's how we can figure out uh, how much gold we spent searching for a battle, okay? Now, it's, it's really sad that you have to watch this, guys. And this is why when you guys go, why don't you do live raids? The reason is, guys, I cannot sit there and just be like, hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go attack and record. And then just be like, hey, you know what? I'll just, I'll just delete the clouds. Well, I'd have to record 20 minutes of gameplay and then search through it for one attack. It's just a pain in the butt. Or I have to sit with my computer and wait for an attack to pop up, then click record and hope I get it right in time and I don't mess up the attack because I'm busy trying to fuddle around with my reflector and stuff. So, I mean, that's the reason I don't do live attacks a lot right now. I'll be doing plenty more when we get down lower, but uh, right now it is not worth the risk at all. Now, we're going to switch one last time to, to a different server for a different language. It reloads the game real fast, which is kind of risky because you could get attacked, I think, during that time period. But it does usually go really fast, so I'm not too worried. I'm um, just going to search right here, and we are stuck in the clouds. It always seems like that first search is the most painful one. Don't ask me why, guys. It just seems like that for me. No matter what server you're on, the first one always is the hardest to find a uh, battle. Now, I do get lucky here, and uh, we come out of the clouds right now, and we actually find the raid you watched. So, 
But that's how long it took to find this raid, guys, from start to finish. Hope you did enjoy watching this. Hope you enjoyed getting a feeling for what it's like being in Upper Champions League. And you guys understand why I go for few trophies and even less loot. Because I do not care about loot that much. I just want to win. Because at this level, I'm just trying to push. And it's, it's hard enough as is. No point in making it more difficult trying to find loot too. Um, I got lucky here. I found eight trophies, which is decent. That's going to give me five trophies, as I said. But guys, let me find out how much gold I used to find this battle. And I will go ahead and uh, tell you here in a second. So for me to find eight trophies took me 87 clicks, okay? Now that was not that bad. Sometimes I search for a half hour and you don't find anything. You just end up, you know, I've searched for an hour before and not found anything over five trophies and decided that winning two trophies for get, just quitting is enough. Just winning two trophies would be enough just to have the trophies because I was sick of searching. But yeah, overall really brutal. Hope this was more entertaining than I expected it to be. I did want to explain things, talk to you about how it is up here in Upper Champions, explain why I do what I do, and explain why all these other players don't really do live attacks as high, because it is painful, it's hard to find these attacks, and it's just not, it's not worth the risk, to be honest. So guys, enjoy this final few seconds here of this gameplay, and go ahead and slap a like and a comment below, and comment and like below, I should say, what you thought of this, whether it was helpful to you, whether it explained why people do what they do, why it's so hard to get to upper champions. It's got nothing to do with being a skilled player. Can you win your attacks? No, the higher you get, the harder it is to stay up there because you get less and less trophies and you lose more and more trophies if you make a single mistake. And everyone makes mistakes, guys. We're human. I'm human. I've made plenty of mistakes this push. I mean, guys, I've won a ton, but I've always made that stupid mistake probably once every other day now at this point. I've made a stupid attack mistake where I'm just too tired or I'm just not paying attention or I misclick on a spell or I, you know, I use my invisibility and my hero powers too or hero abilities too soon and it happens guys. So that's what the causes and effects are up here. 3,600 trophies though is what I'm sitting at flat right now. Stay tuned for the next video guys. I will be live again very shortly and I'll be showing you another awesome video. This one, the next one will be Epic Raids probably, or actually, you know what, maybe I'll do an All Archer attack for you guys. You want to see that? Let's do an All Archer attack. I'll go ahead and do that live for you guys. All Archer, and we'll have some fun. Let's go ahead and find a base that we can beat with All Archers and hopefully not lose trophies, because we're at 3,600. It'd be sad to lose them trophies, and uh, oops, didn't mean to build a hog there. I'll see you guys soon though. Stay tuned. Peace.